There's a spot on the hill where you look down below at the town that bustles and the town that flows and the town that does nothing but grow, grow, grow. And you see what you gave and all that you did, the sacrifice you made for your spot on the hill. Ahoy! Ahoy there! Do you know what it is to go sailing? To have the breeze in your hair and the salt in your nose and see nothing but blue for miles and miles? Do you know what it is to be alone, completely alone in the stillness and have everything you need? The water is my home, not dry land, and that is why I left. Born and raised in Jonesboro, Tennessee, the son of a dreamer who'd gone out west to seek his fortune in the gold rush of 1849. My father settled in Jonesboro to become a merchant, to marry, and to make a family. I was born into a life on land in a town with nothing larger than a creek. I was born to a mother and father with all the promise in the world, but prospects change. My mother died when I was three, and my father followed when I was ten. My brother Hugh died before I was born, and my sister Adelaide died before she was a year old. Then there was the baby. The baby died before they could give it a name. I had one older brother who survived. His name was George, but people called him Gilbert. I didn't see him very much. Some people said my Uncle John ran him out of town, so I was left alone, adrift on dry land. You kept me from starving, Uncle John, and I will be forever grateful for that. But I did not want your life. Everyone in town knows John D. Cox. Fortune smiled on him in 49, and it smiles on him now one of the most successful merchants in town, a businessman, an entrepreneur, upwardly mobile, and everyone knows me too, poor Will Cox, who lost his mother and father. Poor Will Cox, adrift on dry land. I did not want your life, uncle. I did not want roots with no water, so I left. I turned to the sea, and I enlisted in the United States Naval Academy. A man's got to have prospects. You and father taught me that. Well, the two of you chased a dream all the way to the west coast. A dream of gold. But my gold cannot be found in hard rock. My gold is the glint of sunshine as it plays across the water. The sensation of rocking wood beneath my feet as the vessel climbs over the waves. The feeling of sturdy hard rope in my hands as I pull and it cuts into my flesh. The sound of voices shouting out around me, ordering commands. Carry on. Hoist every bit of canvas the yards can carry and sail on. The winds are right. Secure the mooring line. Tie the ship to the pier. We're being bamboozled. The approaching vessel's not carrying the correct flag. Steady, midshipman. A midshipman, a naval officer in training, and that is what I am. The water will be my home. When I'm out here in the spray and the salt, I'm no longer poor Will Cox. And whether I'm on a larger vessel full of people shouting orders or alone in my own little dinghy, I am at peace. Adrift on dry land and adrift at sea are two different things, but I don't expect you to understand. Here I'm at peace with my lot. Here I feel closer to Mama and Papa and my siblings, even though they're long gone. This blue expanse reaching out to the sun, this is my freedom, a blank canvas, a chance to start over. This is where I choose to stay. 
April 14, 1875. Mr. John D. Cox, with profound sorrow, I inform you that Cadet Midshipman W. H. Cox was drowned this morning by the upsetting of the shell of his boat club. CRP Rogers, Rear Admiral, Superintendent. I was buried in dry land at the top of Rocky Hill in Jonesboro. I was buried near Mama and Papa and my siblings. The Naval Academy supplied a headstone, a blank canvas, and you, Uncle, picked the design. An overturned boat, a paddle, and two hands reaching out of the water, reaching for sunlight, reaching for air, reaching for life. Thus he perished, Cadet William H. Cox, Midshipman, U.S. Naval Academy, Annapolis, Maryland, born October 25, 1855, accidentally drowned near Annapolis, April 14, 1875, son of James C. and Sophia E. Cox. Thus he perished. Poor Will Cox. Everyone who sees my tombstone will know that the sea took my life, but they won't know the whole truth, that it also gave life to me.